Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make some Italian style baguettes. So these are going to be in the, the shape of a baguette but using a recipe for an Italian style bread. Um, and it's very easy to make, it takes a bit of time as uh, bread recipes do. And I'm going to use my Ancashrim mixer but you can use uh, whatever mixer you have, stand mixer you have, or you can do it by hand. Um, either way will work very well indeed. So as I said it's not that difficult and I'll go on to the ingredients. And for the ingredients I have uh, 750 grams which is about five cups based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup of bread flour. Now I may not need all of that, uh, we will determine that as we need the dough but up to five cups. I have 480 milliliters two cups of lukewarm water and mine is at about 42 degrees Celsius, 110 Fahrenheit. I have 45 millilitres, three tablespoons of olive oil, 12 grams, one tablespoon of caster sugar, 10 grams, three teaspoons of instant yeast and 12 grams, two teaspoons of salt. And that's all the ingredients we need and so uh, the first thing to do is to uh, mix our dough. And to mix the dough together, I'm going to start off by putting my water into the bowl of my stand mixer and adding the sugar and the yeast and the oil. And I'm going to mix those until they're fully combined. And that's good enough like that. Um, the oil floats on the top of course but that will get incorporated as we add the, the dough. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my dough in. I'm going to start off by adding um, about 450 grams of it. like that and I'm just going to mix that very briefly and then I'm going to sprinkle my salt over the top I'm going to mix this now until it becomes a shaggy dough and as it becomes a shaggy dough I'm going to gradually add in more flour until the dough forms and uh, comes cleanly away from the, the bottom and the side of the bowl. Now my dough is just about uh, there, it's just a little bit tacky and I'm going to add in, um, I've used my uh, 750 grams but I'm going to add in about another tablespoon, uh, so another 8 to 10 grams. And that's feeling good. So I'm going to knead that now um, for about eight minutes. Um, I'll tell you the exact time when I come back, but for about eight minutes. 
until it's nice and smooth and stretchy. So I've kneaded that for about 10 minutes in fact and I um, feel that it's just a little bit tacky but um, it should be good enough now so I'm going to take that out of the bowl briefly and with the dough out of the bowl I'm going to form it into a ball and I've, I've lightly greased my surface here just so that it doesn't stick because it's still just a little bit tacky. And then I'm going to put that back into my bowl. And I'm just going to spritz that a little bit with just a bit more oil and rub that over. It won't, in my bowl it won't stick because the, the lid will create temperature and the moisture that I need so that it doesn't form a skin. So then I'm going to cover that and leave it to proof in a warm place for as long as it takes to double in size. My dough has now doubled in size and if I press it it springs back so I'm going to take it out of the bowl and I'm going to divide it into three pieces. And having divided it fairly evenly into three pieces I'm going to um, just press each piece down into a rectangle and that's about eight inches by eleven inches and then I'm going to roll it up on itself pushing back each time And then I'm just going to pinch the seam together like that and I have lightly greased my board but with that like that I'm going to put that onto my baguette tray which is shaped for holding this sort of dough. Now if you don't have one of those you can still do this um, using parchment paper um, but make the parchment paper larger than your baking tray and uh, form sort of fold it so that you have some little ridges which will, will support the dough a little bit. So I'm going to uh, leave that like that and do the same with the other two and I have those rolled out like that to roughly the same length and I've just tucked the ends in a little bit and as I say these aren't uh, baguettes in the, the French sense it's the shape that makes me call them um, Italian style baguettes using an Italian style or an Italian bread dough basically so I'm going to cover those with a clean towel and I'm going to leave them to rise while I preheat my oven. And I'll preheat the oven to 220 degrees Celsius at 200 Celsius with a fan, 425 Fahrenheit. Um, and then I'll come back when our dough has rested and the oven is preheated and we'll score it and bake it. So I've left my dough while the oven preheats and I'm going to uh, cut five uh, slashes into each piece diagonally like that and then I'm just going to spray those or you could brush them but I'm going to spray them with a little bit of water and I'm going to put them into the oven and I'm going to bake them for 25 minutes that will allow the dough to rise um, and uh, 
brown nicely on the top and become nice and crisp. If you want them even crisper and crustier, you can put a pan of water, um, hot water, in the uh, bottom of the oven and that will help that as well. But I'll take them out after 25 minutes and then I'll come back and show you what they look like. So I baked my um, Italian style baguettes for 25 minutes and I tested the internal temperature and it had reached 96 degrees Celsius which is about 205 Fahrenheit so I knew that they're they're cooked inside so I've just put them onto a wire rack and I'm going to leave them uh, to cool down and once they cool down um, I will come back and I will have cut one and we'll have a taste. I let my um, Italian style baguettes cool down completely and I've um, shared them uh, with family but I've kept one back and I have now uh, cut one and uh, made myself a sandwich so I'll show you what that looks like a very basic sandwich just with ham butter and ham basically so I thought I'd show you the inside of the um, baguette style bread um, it looks quite good nice and airy um, and I'll have a taste of the sandwich It's very very good. Um, the the baguette bread dough is very uh, nice and soft and the outside is soft now. It was crisp when it came out of the oven but it's soft now just how I like it um, and it has a, the, the, the bread has a very nice taste to it as well as a nice texture and of course the ham is ham and you can put whatever fillings you want in obviously um, salad, vegetables, uh, cheese and pickle with Branston pickle and things like that. Um, I like a plain ham sandwich which is why I've eaten that like that. So that's going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the recipe and if you have please give me a thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen there'll be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then Happy baking.